and a look behind the curtain here. Final preparations for the challenge ahead. Hoping to come out of the gates strong. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. On Wednesday, then on Friday. Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got Miracle Man. Bottoms is out there with Anderson. Then it's Q, and it's Miller in at the shooting guard position. And for the Cardinals, the natural out there with Dub. Then there's Prez. Then there's Red Hot, and it's Smooth in at the center position. Chris, a lot of uh, expectations, high expectations when uh, you're the number one overall pick in the draft. You know it well. Yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, it's something that I wanted. Uh, you know, Derek Coleman was from Detroit, and two years earlier, he was the number one pick. And I'd always been a fan of his, so I felt like he was passing the baton, and, and I had to kind of do what he did. And then Shaquille O'Neal was rookie of the year before myself and, and the number one pick. And so uh, uh, for me, I, I looked at it as, yeah, a pretty big weight, but the honor was more than the weight. And I, I, I was honored to be pick number one, and, and I relished in that, and I had great teammates that allowed me to flourish in that role. Really left alone that time. Facilitating from the inside. I mean, that can be a valuable asset from any offense. Here's Prez. Pass to the natural. Six to shoot. To the middle. Out of bounds as Louisville keeps possession. Cuts off the pass. And it's Anderson atop the key. Oh, that's blocked. Smooth passes to Perry. Was red hot and stolen by Miller. And now running up the court, Miller pushing it up. Buried from 15 feet out. Bottoms got his second bucket of the night. It was red hot. Nine points last game. Or the three. Louisville, no good that time either. A cold start for them. Three shots, three misses. Good thing is early. Pass to Miracle Man. Shoots the three. They get it back. Anderson passes to Q. It's blocked. The dish to Prez. There's the pass to Red. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. There's the triple. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Here's Miracle Man. He's coming off a 22-point game again. And what opened things up for him was his passing. He was making so many plays that the D had to play off of him. That's a perfect setup. Solid screen, defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the bucket. Let out the pass to Perry. Here's the natural. Here's Red Hot. Six on the shot clock. But they get it back. Smooth. Plays it up and pinks it in. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. There's Bottoms. He's coming off a 22-point game again. Here's Red Hot. Here's the floater. Good D by Miller. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and, and gotten the perfect position to alter the shot. Here's Bottoms. Pass to Q. Miller outside. Shot clock at five. 
Left side, Anderson. Got it off in time and beat the shot clock, but it's no good. Out left to the wing. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. Pass to Miller. There's Bottoms. Passes it to Miracle Man. From deep. And the rebound goes to Louisville. And they swept the season series against them last year. They really did have the upper hand. From deep. No good on the shot. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Oh, just off his game. Forcing a few shots. Not letting the game come to him naturally. Well, and in terms of size, that's a mismatch he'll exploit every time, especially inside. Louisville trails by six. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. There's Red Hot. That's tipped. Now here is Miller. The pass to Bottoms. Here's Miracle Man. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Oh, Kevin, get a load of that one. Take that play and put it in the alley -oop textbook, boys. Uh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. So Louisville calls timeout. They're first. We're talking about number one options at the offensive end. There's a mentality, right, that you got to have as the teams go to score, isn't there? Oh, yeah, definitely. Let's look at Harden. Uh, he can go 0 for 7, and then he expects... To go 27 for 27. How about Curry? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen Thompson when they said, oh, oh my God, Clay Thompson is off. Last game, he only had 11 points. Well, when that happens, you can bet your last dollar at the next game, oh, Look out. he's going to make every shot. And so what it is, is again, a short memory. Whether you make a lot, so what? I'm going to do that again tonight. And if you missed a lot the previous night, so what? That wasn't this night. Let's get it right now. Prez. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And they call an illegal screen here. Yeah, three turnovers so far. And the real issue is the fact that they're unforced, too careless with the basketball. Williams, he's checked in for Red Hot. Gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Miracle Man, the pass to Anderson. Here's Miracle Man. Pass to Bottoms. From deep three-point range from beyond the arc and then some. Bottoms got nine points. Oh, great ball movement there. Here's Smooth. 14 points from him the last game again. And made a big mark at the free throw line as well. He got himself to the strike a lot and cashed in when he had his chances. Hugh passes to Miracle Man. There's Bottoms. To the inside. Hugh powered down after the assist. Let him into the lane. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Yeah, Greg, they've come out of the gate strong at both ends of the floor. Just, just in total control so far. Here's the natural. Louisville, no good that time either. 
Anderson outside. Williams with the block. Now here's Prez. He's guarded closer. Passes to the natural. Inside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Louisville shooting their first free throws of the game right now. First free throw is good. So for the Cardinals, in Sanity, he's checked in for Smooth. Williamson comes in for the natural. And Jay subbed in for Dub. That one is no good. Gone 8 of 14 from the field in the first quarter. Pass to Bearstow. There's Bottoms. Nine points in the game so far. And there's the pass to Bearstow. Lock at six. Fade away. With the putback. It's good on the putback. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Louisville trails by 14. Now Prez. Here's Williams shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. For Louisville, they've gone one for two on the night so far from the line. And the first one drops. Players have different ways of leading. Some guys, Chris, are loud and fiery. Others let their play do all the talking. What was your approach? Well, Kevin, it depended on what situation I was in. When I was in Sacramento, I could be the quiet, fiery guy that led through my actions because Vlade uh, was more of a vocal guy, and, and we had a really good-spirited team, so I didn't need to, to do much uh, besides what we did in practice. In my younger days, when you want to win, you want to get out there, and maybe everyone doesn't have the sense of urgency uh, that you do. You're, you're a little bit more vocal, but I, I've always believed that the best leaders, uh, no matter how how well they communicate or, or anything else the best leaders lead by example and if uh, you're telling everyone what to do and you're not doing it uh, usually it falls on deaf ears so go out there and do it by example first and, and everybody will follow good advice well that's a well-deserved assist not every player has the vision to make that feed Porter with it Williams picks him up here's Bottoms here's Bearstow makes it off the glass and right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Now here's Fresh, guarded by Porter. Fresh. Nice open look, but it's no good. Being at a nice 53% rate to start the game, they are sticking to the campaign. Pass to Bottoms. And the defense really pressing up on him. Made that a tough shot. Williams passes to Fresh. Floats it up for Williams. A steal. Here's the break. Here's Big Cat. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. Well, you think defensively that you're trying to pack in the lane. I mean, but that, then that opens up some opportunities for their shooters. Now here's Fresh. Nine-point game is last outing. From past the arc, hands it from downtown. Fresh has got five points so far. Well, that's almost a sure thing when you leave him that wide open on the perimeter. I mean, that's his sweet spot. Big Cat, the pass to Bearstone. 
And Fresh picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. We've got 22 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Bottoms. He's got nine. Four on the clock. That shot off. The D hanging tough and stopping what would normally have been an easy lay. And that one's good. Fresh. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The away team up nine. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. If you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? I mean, offensively, I thought they did a good job of protecting the ball. And defensively, boy, were they disrupted. Yeah, G.A., great balance of efficiency and intensity, which is why they hold the early lead. Being 48% from the field, not bad at all. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court right now for the Cardinals. We've got Williams. Jay out there with Fresh. Then there's Insanity. And it's Williamson in at the three. Clock is at three. Here's D. And he makes good on his first shot of the game. D's got his first points of the game. Louisville trails by 11. Williamson with it. He points his last outing to the wing right side. Louisville passing it around. From deep. They grabbed their own miss. Here's Insanity, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Louisville shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And the first one at the line is good. Fans, just broadcasters, love to see teams get out and attack in transition. Would you like to see the league crack down on intentional fouls that, that, that will halt that break, slow down that break, stifle that break? No, because the, the home fans or the fans of the team that's fouling doesn't want that team to get out and get an easy two points. I mean, we still have to have defense in the game. So anything that takes away from team scoring, you just can't say, well, we want to watch them score. Don't do it. No. And uh, very honestly, if you're an unselfish team, usually on those breaks, it's usually because a player holds the ball to them. Right. Usually they have another open player in front of them that they could pass it up to. And if you're an unselfish team, usually you'll still give the fans what they want. And that's a crazy highlight on the break. <laughs> He'll do some damage if they give him that shot. Don't give him a clean look. Get out there on him. Outside Williams. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Oh, costly error there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Man, when you're playing from behind, that's the last thing you want to do. Make matters worse. Red Hot is checked in for the Cardinals. Miller, the pass to Big Cat. Kicks it to Miller. Passes it to Big Cat. The second chance effort. That's no good. And now he's missed two and made two. Pass to Fresh. And here is Williamson. A stupendous finish in traffic. The visitors with the ball. They've led by as many as 14 points. Well, in that one, you could pretty much see the writing on the wall. Their performance was lackluster at best. But Greg, they just weren't ready for that game. It looked like they just weren't prepared. The final score tells you the story. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. 
Fresh the pass to Jay. Goes red hot. Covered by Miller. This one for three. Buries the long range jumper. Red Hawks got six points. And that's just too much space to give a shooter like him. He works to get open, but the defenders have to work harder to nullify that. On the wing, Porter. Can't hit from in close. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. And he's good on the three ball. Porter's got six points in the quarter. And getting going here in the second quarter, his second three-pointer of the game. Here's Red Hot. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. To the paint. Banked in off the glass. Eight points for Big Cat. And that lead pass allowed him to get straight to the rim, unabated in stride. There's Red Hot. Six points for him. That shot goes in. He now has three field goals and six misses today. Well, he'll take advantage of that kind of soft defense every time. Just give him a chance to attack the basket, and he will. Now here's Porter. Six points for him. Let's it fly. That's another miss. Number four. He's two for six shooting. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would tonight. And the pass to Red Hill. Down low. Puts it up from 12. Second chance shot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. For Louisville, they've shot 67% from the line tonight, going for a six. That free throw good from Williamson. A different look for Louisville. Smooth checked in for Insanity. Dub comes in for Fresh. And it's the natural in for Jay. And so he hits both. And here's Miller. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. <laughs> Whoa, he really got his defender on his heels on that one. What a fantastic play, guys. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. For Louisville, they've scored six points from their eight attempts at the line so far. First one falls for him. And the Cardinals make it a change here. Prez has checked in. And so he's able to get one of two. Gone six of ten from the floor here in the second quarter. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Chris, underclassmen entering the draft, they can now hire agents, get help attending workouts, and still retain their eligibility. Do you like that move? I love the move, Kevin. 
Uh, you, you know what it does? It helps less to fall by the wayside. So you come out of college, you, you don't know how good you are. You, you don't, you know, it's based off ego, how hard you worked, uh, family and friends telling you, go, 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 get the money. But what's your testing ground? You, you don't know. You don't have a full context. So I love the fact that it lets you go out there and see. And if you have any trepidation, go back to school. You got another year. So, yes, I love this move. Excellent. See, we have excellent. And the second free throw, good. Louisville trails by 11. Here's Smooth. And it's blocked. They recover it. Here's the natural. Asked Red Hot. Just five on the clock. Here's Smooth. They had a number of cracks at it, but came away empty-handed. To the middle, one on one here. Tries again, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. good on the free throw. And he sinks the second. Louisville trails by 12. Louisville passing it around. Sutton defended by Anderson. Six on the shot clock. Sutton passes to Perry. No good from outside. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. Oh, man, did you see him close that gap? What a great job. He made the shooter feel uncomfortable. Passes it to Q. Here's Miracle Man. No points in the game yet for him. And the call will be against Red Hot. That'll be his second foul of the game. Oh, what a terrible foul there. Shot clock winding down, and he ends up bailing out the offense with a silly foul. Bottoms, he's checked in for Miller. Pass to Bearstow. Fires the three. Count it. His second make in four attempts. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Here's Red Hot. He kicks to Prez. Launches a three. Marries it from three-point range. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game. But you can see why after that sequence. Here's Bearstow. He has five. Six to shoot. Right wing. The pass to Q. Here's Bottoms. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Bottoms got 12 points in the game. Now a timeout called by the Cardinals. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Poor rotations. I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about.
Williams, he's checked in for the Cardinals. Here's Prez. Out to the right wing. Sutton passes to Perry. Now here's Williams. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. For Louisville, they come in off a loss to Florida. Left side, Anderson. And Anderson slams it in. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. Oh, Kevin, the coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy buckets like this, G.A. Here's Williams, and again, it's Louisville converting. And with the D playing him tight, he knew just what he wanted to do. Nice hook shot. Miracle Man, the pass to Q. Here's Miracle Man. And it's tonight. Outside Williams. Kicks to Prez. Pass to Sutton. To the wing right side. Smooth passes to the natural. It's blocked. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. One ten left to play in the first half. Miracle man. No good on that one. Louisville trails by 13. Passes it to Perry. A floater. And it's Williams finishing it off. Strong move to the 10. Trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, yeah, Kevin, you're right. They needed that. And I love that he just didn't settle for the lay-in. Here's Bearstow following the score by the Cardinals. Oh, the movement off the ball is good. I mean, and the pass to hit him in stride is even better. One misses for Anderson. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Whoa, that'll wake you up. He is such a great athlete. Being at 52% from the field. They're clicking. The pass to Miracle Man. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fifth rebound in this one. He dishes it to Prez. One second left. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's the visiting team. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Checking out the visiting team. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. I like their commitment to that inside game, boy. Get it inside to the post. Got to be scoring in the post, splashing to the basket. Just shoot the high percentage shot. No jumpers, no threes. They're being a the more aggressive team, the more physical team. They're definitely going to win this game, right? How about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? To me, they looked out of sync shooting the basketball. Under 40% for the first half. Some of it was poor shot selection, but mostly it just looked like they were out of rhythm. For the second half, they need to push more for buckets in transition. Get to the foul line a little bit more. Try to get back in the flow. 
And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Bottoms having a dominant impact in this game. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Yeah, working the ball, getting clean, quality looks. I mean, just efficient basketball through and through. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Miller is out there with Miracle Man. Then there's Anderson. And there's Bottoms. And it's Q in at the five. And finished off by Anderson. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. It was red hot. Pass to Smooth. And oh, that was close. He draws the foul. He'll shoot two. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. He struggled mightily at the free throw line in their last game. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. Being at 52% from the field. They're clicking. Miracle man, the pass to Bottoms. Shot clock at six. From deep three-point range. That's a miss. And with it, he is five for nine. Louisville trails by 12. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Red Hot, and the lead is down inside single digits. Red Hot's got 11 points. That's a nice play, getting the separation he needs for a clean look. Yeah, he may just have to put a little more arc under that, but either way, it's a tough shot. There's Bottoms. He's got 12. There's the three. A shot that time, not on target. And the Cardinals going the other way now. Our next game is in San Francisco. So a road game with the Warriors. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Anderson. And the rebound goes to Louisville. Smooth's got his fourth rebound in this one. Ooh, this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. Rock solid start for them. I mean, they're three for three since coming out of the locker room. Now here's Anderson. Seven points in the game. To the inside. And that one goes. Feeding him with the lead pass. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Passes to Red. Three-pointer, and again, it's Louisville from deep. They've been very sharp to start the half. A perfect four for four from the field. Gone two of six from the field here in the third. Here's Miracle Man, and two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Clearly a foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. He 
and he knocks down the first one. So for the Cardinals, in Sanity, he's checked in for Smooth. Jay comes in for Dub, and Fresh subbed in for Prez. He hits both from the strike. Oh, you can get spoiled watching him at the line. I mean, you just expect him to make every one, every time. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Now the pass to Insanity. Again, the Cardinals score. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. Porter, bounce pass. Pass to Miracle Man. Six on the shot clock. From downtown, the putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Pass to Red Hawk. It's up a three. Louisville getting another chance here. And that one, good. The insanity's got his second basket of the night. Uh, how about the perseverance there? The extra effort on that offensive glass. Now Porter. He's got six. The pass to Q. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. He's shooting free throws, number four in five here. The first free throw is good. Williamson is checked in for Red Hot. Second free throw, no good. Louisville trails by five. Pass to Jay. Got a hand on it, and he recovers it. Insanity, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. And that one misses. Gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. And it's blocked. Four on three as they bring it up. Fresh with the ball. Now guarded by Porter. Fresh with the ball. He has seven. Tries again. And he lays it up and in. Nine points for Insanity. He's perfect from the field this quarter. He's given them fits up. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. And the Cardinals making a change here. Williams is checked in. Big cap, the pass to Bearston. is it to Q. Clock at four. And the rebound goes to Louisville. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Pass to Porter. From deep. From beyond the arc. And then some. D's got five now. 
And that's in the gym range, Kev. He can pull up and knock it down from anywhere. Insanity. It's deflected, and he gets it back. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. And the first one at the line is good. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Being 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Big cap, the pass to Bearstone. Dishes it to Porter. The pass to Q. Kicks to Bearstone. From deep three-point range. Rebound by Williams. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising it's such a tight game. Now oh, here's Fresh. He has seven. Here's Jay. Louisville, no good that time either. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. That's the key. The D can't focus on one player. And no matter what anybody tells you, that ball will always move quicker than the defender. Williams. Oh, wow. Nice. Louisville trails by five. And here's Fresh. On deep. Trains the three-pointer. Fresh has got ten points. It was just a mystery what the defense was doing there. You never want to give him that much space outside the three-point line. Pass to deep. Porter looking it over. Passes it to Big Cat. Now here's Williams. He's guarded closely. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That's 12 points for Insanity. Strange game for him. Barely made any noise in the first half, and here in the second, he's been everywhere. D passes to Porter. From deep three-point range, offensive rebound. He makes so many hustle plays, and, and here he's working the offensive glass for the tip-in. And for Louisville, they're shooting almost 60% from the field here in the third. They are really feeling it. Now a timeout called by the Cardinals. And the talk in their huddle is going to be about taking care of the basketball. I mean, their turnover numbers are terrible. Smooth checked in for the Cardinals. Dub comes in for Jay. The visitors on defense. Fresh the pass to Sutton. Inside. Louisville passing it around. Pass to Williamson. Six to shoot. On deep. That shot missing. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Are trying to take advantage of that extra space on the perimeter. We see a lot of this now. 
Here's Joe, the pass to Big Cat. There's Bottoms. 14 points for him. From deep three point range, an absolute bomb from three point range. I mean, logs his first three of the second half after nailing two in the first. They don't want to let this fella get going. Now, fresh. He's got 10, and he can't answer back the three pointer offline. They've got the five on three advantage. Drains it from beyond the arc. And that's 20 points for Bottoms. Knocks down his second three of the half. I mean, he had two of them in the first half also. Doing some solid work from deep. Now a timeout called by the Cardinals. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Prez has checked in for Louisville. 102 left here in the third quarter. Down low, Smooth takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Smooth's got 10 points in the game. Porter with it. Six points for him. Here's the pass to Miller. Pass to Big Cat. Just five to shoot. That one misses. Louisville trails by six. Passes to Sutton. And a deep three from Prez. Tips it up. And Williams is right there. Williams has got his third basket of the night. Yeah, and that's a pure hustle play, getting to the offensive glass for the tipping. And that's the kind of quality you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? It's Porter outside, and that one released in time, but no good. Back to the action after this word. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. <laughs> no, it's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Dub is out there with the natural. Then there's Smooth. Then there's Prez. And it's red hot in at the two-guard spot. Being 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Now, here is Miller. Defense right on him. Here's Miracle Man. Nailed from three-point land. Defensively, they just look out of sync. Not closing out on the threes in time. There's Red Hot. The baseline J. And that one is good. Red Hot's got ten points in just the second half. And you can just see he's a different player since coming back from halftime. From deep. The long distance three is buried. Eight points for Miracle Man. Twelve straight points off of three pointers, and the D looks shell shocked. Twenty feet out, it's deflected. 
Miller surveying the floor. It's picked off. Over in the corner, Prez from outside the arc. Hits it from three-point range. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ballgame. Miracle man, the pass to Big Cat. Out of bounds, Louisville takes possession. Q, he's checked in for Big Cat. Louisville trails by five. And the Miracle Man is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. On defense, the visitors. Here's Perry. Until he starts knocking down some shots, I don't think the deficit's going to get this one. And all those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half. And that's a great way to cut into the lead. Miller, the pass to Miracle Man. And there's the foul. It'll go on Doug. That's foul number two for him. Miller and there's the pass to Q. Lock at six. There's Bottoms. Takes a three. They get it again. The shot misses. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Yeah, Greg, that's his great defense. Forcing his man into a difficult attempt. And pro move there. Finds a way to gain some separation against the much taller defender. Yeah, showing that short area skill allows him to create some space. There's Bottoms. Back to Miller. Has the cue. To the paint. Here's Miracle Man. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Well, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. First one drops. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. Both good from the line that time. I like that he's playing with an edge here in the second half. I mean, he didn't get to the line once in the first half. Passes it to Red Hot to tie it up. The rebound by Anderson. Anderson's got rebound number five here tonight. Anderson. And the rebound goes to Louisville. Smooth's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. That one drops for him. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Miracle Man, and it's blocked. Four on three break to take the lead. It's good from long range. And the Cardinals lead by two. It seems like they found their rhythm offensively, and they're shooting the ball much better out of the break. Miller, the pass to Bottoms. And the pass to Miracle Man. Miller outside. And the call will be against Red Hot. And that'll be his third foul so far. D, he's checked in for Miller. Q passes to Anderson. Got a hand on it. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Smooth. Smooth, 
He kicks it to Prince. And there's the foul. It'll go on Doug. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter. The final quarter not treating them well so far. One of the stories here, Red Hot getting it done today. And he's on fire from beyond the arc there. It's time to start shaping their game plan around stopping this long-range assault. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey guys, well during the break I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. And he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed. Guys. Thank you, David. There's Red Hot. Three-pointer. And the three ball is good. Prez has got the lead up to five now for Louisville. And there's been a drop-off in their defense since halftime. I mean, they don't nearly have the same energy they did in the first half. D passes to Miracle Man. To the inside. Hugh. There's the killer two-handed slam. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that game. And rightfully so. Also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this tight? Well, it's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. And the foul called on Prince. That's his first foul. And the next one puts him in the bonus. So it's the visitors now. Trailing by five. To the left side wing. Shot clock at five. Here's D. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Oh, he just caught the defense napping. He shoots a very high percentage from three-point range, and there's no hand in his face. Here's Smooth. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free-throw line. Yeah, the defender all over him. No good on that one. Williams, he's checked in for Doug. Good on the second free throw. Here's Miracle Man. Pass to D. There's Bottoms. Passes it to Miracle Man. And it goes down two points. Miracle Man's got ten points now just in this quarter. Wow, has he flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. Smooth passes to the natural. And here is Prez. Six to shoot. The pass to Smooth. The rebound by Anderson. 
Anderson's got seven rebounds in the game. They get that one, but guys, on the night, that's been the problem, securing the ball. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Now here's Anderson. Here's Miracle Man. Got a piece of it. Now here's Prez. Not a lot of room. Pass to Reddit. Fires from deep. That shot is off. Being at 46%, making some buckets. Bottoms, the pass to Miracle Man. Here's T. Headshot off. And the Cardinals going the other way now. Here's Red Hot. And a miss there on the triple. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Passes it to Q. And the rebound goes to Louisville. And there's the pass to Red Hot. And here is Prez. 156 left to play here in the fourth. Here's Red Hot. Hits the three-point bomb. Red Hot's got the lead up to six now for the Cardinals. It was just a mystery what the defense was doing there. You never want to give him that much space outside the three-point line. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. And now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Red Hot. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. A minute 50 left here in the fourth quarter. Fires the three. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. I love his work ethic, not to mention his hands. You need both to convert those tip -ins. Now a timeout called by the Cardinals. They're ahead by four. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Red Hot. Here's Perry. Sweet little floater. Prez has got eight points in the quarter. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the two drop. 135 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Miracle Man. It's stolen. Here's Williams. And finished off by Williams. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. You're going defense to offense in an instant. Every team now calibrated to do that. Here's Miracle Man. Louisville getting their last shot to go. To the middle. It's tipped. Here's Q, and he banks it in. Now Prez. For three, he gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. And it's just competing. And, you know, giving your best when it matters most. And this is what guys play for. And when it pans out like this, it's a great fit. Here's Miracle Man. Five on the clock. Now the Cardinals moving it up. Softly drops in the floater. And it's an 11-point Louisville lead. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Uh, that's why they're in the driver's seat right now. Looking to put this one away. D. The kick out to Anderson. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Pass to Bottoms. To the paint. Here's Q. Williams with the block. 
They get it back. So it's Louisville winning this one easily. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. And once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.